Good evening, and welcome to the seventh annual RTF Media Festival Awards Show. I'm your host, Dr. Joseph Bierman. I'm a professor of film production and studies here at Rowan University. And tonight, I, along with many of my colleagues, will be presenting the media category nominees and announcing the winners. Typically, our festival is a shared viewing event. We screen all the nominees together in our King Auditorium ahead of the awards presentation. This, of course, is not a typical year. Instead, you can screen all of the nominated works on demand at our festival website, rtfmediafest.com. Browse through all the RTF and high school categories to see each work. In many cases, the works are linked to the media hosted at the students' YouTube or Vimeo sites, and I know they'd love to see their counts rise. But to get to this point was not an easy task for those media makers. We received more than 130 submissions, which were reviewed by a jury comprised of current RTF faculty and students for the high school submissions, and a completely external jury of media professionals for the RTF submissions. The jurors provided feedback and scoring according to a range of criteria, including creativity, complexity, storytelling, and overall execution. The top scoring projects earn nominations in their category, which include them in this festival. Those categories include animation, audio production, documentary, film, new media, television, screenwriting, and we also have an alumni media category. It's important to note that our, the works were not judged against each other directly through the review process, but only on their individual merits and successes. The scores and subjective comments were tabulated and reviewed, and tonight we'll honor those producers whose work earned the highest marks of excellence from our jurors. So now, to get this virtual party started, I'd like to introduce our first presenter, Professor Keith Brand, the chair of the Radio, Television, and Film Department. Thank you, Joe. I'd like to welcome everyone to this live stream. Seven years ago, we decided to create a yearly event for the submission and presentation of the best works that emerged from our production classes within the radio, television, and film department at Rowan University. 
We're delighted that this has grown to include New Jersey high schools. Both our college and high school students have exhibited creative and imaginative works of art worthy of tonight's showcase. Our department has offered an undergraduate program in media studies and production for over three decades. And starting this fall, we hope to begin offering a master's degree in television studies with an option for students to complete it as a four plus one, meaning you can enroll as an undergraduate and in five years graduate with both your bachelor's and your master's. We also offer several certificates of undergraduate study and a minor in film and television studies. So if this isn't the major for you, we can still, you can still explore some of what our department offers academically. We'll be having one more virtual open house for prospective students later this month. Visit our department website at rowan.edu slash RTF for more info about our program. And of course, continue to browse through the rtfmediafest.com and see what some of our students have been up to. So if you're a high school student and are interested in studying at Rowan in the fall, register for our open house occurring on Tuesday, April 27th. You can find the link at rtfmediafest.com slash about dash Rowan dash RTF. Okay, let's get to it. It's my honor to present our first category. In addition to serving as department chair, I teach courses in audio production, radio broadcasting, and podcasting, and hosted a radio show for over 30 years on WXPN-FM in Philadelphia. The nominees in this RTF audio production category created podcasts, radio documentaries, and broadcast programs. And the nominees are College Stories by Julia Falpel, Joseph Skelza, Joss Cicino, and Catherine Tonra. Episode 1, Dyatlov Pass by Holly Fortino. The History of the Golden Age of Gaming by Ryan Bissell. The Social Media Effect, a radio documentary by Alexandra Kahn and Riley Meyer. And the winner of For Excellence in RTF Audio Production is... I'm shaking. Episode 1, Dyatlov Pass by Holly Fortino. Let's listen to a short excerpt from this production. On February 26, nearly a month after the group went missing, their tent was found frozen to the ground on Ortorton Mountain with not a soul near it. Here's where it gets strange. The tent was seemingly completely normal. Clothes and food were found sitting out like people were just hanging out there. Everything was intact, and most of the hikers' personal items were in the tent. The only thing out of order was the fact that the tent was cut from the inside, as if someone were trying to escape. But every other item in the tent was unharmed and right in place. Right outside of the tent were scattered items of the hikers, like coats, hats, and loose change. Searchers began to follow stumbled footprints not far from the tent. The strangest part is that experts guarantee the footprints were either barefoot or just in socks. Mind you, it is about 22 degrees below zero. These footprints lead to the bodies of George and Yuri. Congratulations, Holly. A few years ago, our department grew to include a program in biomedical art and visualization as well as an ever-increasing sequence of courses in video game design and animation, and animation as our next category, with both RTF and high school divisions. Presenting this category is our newest faculty member, Professor Robbie Gilbert. Hi, my name is Robbie Gilbert. I'm an assistant professor of animation in the Department of Radio, Television, and Film at Rowan University. 
I got into animation as a child and pursued it as a career because it combines so many of my interests, from drawing to color and design to storytelling and acting and dance and music and sound, science, technology and tinkering and sculpture. It really is an interdisciplinary art form and it's why it's so challenging and I think so exciting. We had many great submissions from around the state of New Jersey this year and I think that's also very exciting. So let's get right to it. The nominees for Excellence in Animation this year for Student category at Rowan University are A Predictable 2020 Cartoon by Jake Campbell, Camouflaging Chameleon by Sofia Monaco, and The Senses by Veronica Cava. And the winner this year is A Predictable 2020 Cartoon by Jake Campbell. Gentlemen, mark my words, this will be the greatest year of our lives! We had many excellent submissions for animation uh, this year for the student high school competition, and let's get right to that. The nominees for the New Jersey High School Student Media category in animation are Beauty by Lexi Ziabro, Middletown High School South, and Empty by Vic Pater, also of Middletown High School South. And the winner is... Excellence in High School Animation winner is for Empty by Vic Pater, Middletown High School South. Congratulations to everybody. And here's a clip from that piece. The puffer fish, he is a merciful one. He sucks in my thoughts and gives me headaches for fun. They're all friends with the slug in my throat. He keeps my voice from singing a note. Below him is a flurry of butterflies. My anxiety in them are great allies. They flit and they flat and they never leave. They make me nauseous. They make me heave. In my legs, there is an ancient rattlesnake. He makes my kneecaps buckle and my whole legs shake. He loves to trip me up every once in a while. These funny old pals make me smile. Over two decades ago, the mass media landscape changed with the emergence of the internet and the term new media was coined we now have websites, blogs, vlogs, zines, interactive non-linear media, and linear presentations that don't fit the norms of radio, television, and film. And multimedia certainly explains the structure of the content, but not the content itself. So here in 2021, we are still calling it new media. Here to present this category is my colleague, Professor Jonathan Olszewski. Hi. I'm Jonathan Olszewski. I'm a documentary filmmaker, new media artist, and photographer. I'm also a professor here at Rowan University. It's my honor to announce the nominees in the Excellence of New Media Award. Remote Yearning by Marissa Pavorsky. Untethered TV, Cable, Streaming, and Censorship by Zachary Goldberg. Zine Project, The Epitome of Strange by Taylor Drake. And the winner of the Excellence in New Media Award is Zine Project, The Epitome of Strange by Taylor Drake. Congratulations.
Our next category celebrates excellence in screenwriting at both the high school and undergraduate levels. Hi, my name is Shari Thompson. I've been teaching courses in screenwriting, media studies, and media production for 15 years. I'm also a lecturer in the Department of Radio, Television, and Film here at Rowan University, where I teach episodic screenwriting, screenwriting, survey of American film, and African American film history. Francis Ford Coppola once said that good acting and writing are the oxygen and hydrogen of good cinema. If you don't have either of them, it will be hard to have a good movie. And with that in mind, I'd like to announce the nominations for Excellence in High School Screenwriting. Dreams Do Come True, Bella Neves, Absagami High School. Hacking High School, Nicholas Guzman, Hunterton Central Regional High School. Reflections, Sam Garofalo, Absagami High School. And the award for excellence in high school screenwriting goes to Reflections by Sam Garofalo, Absagami High School. Please enjoy a reading from passages of the screenplay. Interior dressing room, day. The room is a mess. Brian, 17, scoops a bunch of costumes into a box. A teacher cleans up behind his shoulder. Teacher, I gotta head out for a bit. Can you make sure the door is locked if you leave before I get back? Brian. Yeah, no problem. The door shuts. Brian shoves the box aside. He moves to a nearby closet, grabs a second box labeled hats. He begins shoving hats into the box. He pauses, exhales, exhausted, stretches his neck, and his focus lands on the mirror. His reflection is still cleaning up hats. Shock moves over Brian's face. Our next award is the Eric Boldazar Award for Excellence in Screenwriting. Eric was an aspiring comedy writer who graduated from our program several years ago. Shortly after graduating, he tragically passed away unexpectedly. His family chose to honor his commitment to creative writing by sponsoring this award in his name. Once again, here's Sherry Thompson. Here are the nominees for the Eric Boldazar Excellence in Screenwriting Award. 374 York Avenue, Dean Powers. Dead End Job, T Block. Make Sense, Joshua Hedham. TV Feet, Joseph Pigeon. And the winner of the Eric Boldazar Award for Excellence in Screenwriting goes to Make Sense by Joshua Hedem. Please enjoy a dramatic reading from passages from the screenplay. Interior store, day. Dave, a 27-year-old male with an eight o'clock shadow, distraught and hopeful, looks past the bank truck as he enters. He walks towards the flower section. He places a bouquet of roses on the counter. The clerk, a worker at the store, grabs the roses and scans the barcode. Clerk, that'll be $7.82. Dave shuffles for his wallet in his coat, and he, as he opens his wallet, a picture shows him and his girlfriend happy together. He dwells on the picture. Dave hesitantly says, uh, sorry, here's a 10. While handing the money over, he drops it short, and the money lands on the counter. He quickly picks it up and makes sure the clerk grabs it. Dave, sorry, clerk, you're fine. Here's $2, and your change is up there. Have a nice day. Dave, yeah, thanks, I'll try. Dave grabs his change from the tray, revealing two pennies along with two dimes. He places the money in his wallet and then places the wallet in his jacket pocket. Hi, I'm Professor David Bean Cooley. I teach television studies at Rowan University. And I've been a TV critic for more than twice as long as most of you have been alive. Uh, but don't hold that against me. I really care about television. I love television when it's good. And you guys have generated good things here. So I've got the category of television and music video. And I'm such an expert on this that I reviewed MTV the day it launched. 
in the 80s. So my opinion counts here, even though I wasn't the one who judged this. But congratulations to the nominees uh, whose names I am about to read. This is for the category of television and music video. Chasing Calvin, Ava Matarietta, Collingswood High School. Deeper, Yasmin Marad, John Martinez of Absagami High School. How to Make Chocolate Chip Cookies, Rhea Shaw, Hunterton Central Regional High School. Space Invaders, Joseph Degenhart, Collingswood High School. And the one who's getting the award, that's very politically correct saying, but everybody should be proud here, in this envelope for the category, television and music video, the winner is Chasing Calvin by Ava Matarietta, Collingswood High School. Congratulations. And now, if I were you, I'd want to see a little bit of that. So let's see a little bit of that. I just fell in love with it early uh, because of my dad, just always being around. He was a football player, so, you know, always watching it and then putting the football in my hands early just allowed me to fall in love with it more. I was coached mostly by my uncles, cousins. Um, so it was just always them trying to look out for me, trying to make sure I'm doing good for myself. It comes back to us just being family and brothers on the field. Welcome to our control room for this evening's live broadcast. I'm Professor Christopher Winkler, festival director, and also the director of this show. I teach, teach courses in television production, live event coverage, and sports television production. The nominees for the RTF television category include one public service announcement, one live studio sportscast, and two long-form magazine talk show programs, both of which were produced by students at home during the pandemic and early stages of quarantine restrictions in spring 2020. This is actually the case for much of the media in this year's festival, in which students pushed through adversity and complications and continued to produce media and tell stories. The nominees for RTF television production are Animal Adoption PSA, Emily Render, Profs Huddle, Season 1, Episode 2, Brian Shepard, Derek Hill, Aaliyah Pope, Sean Kelly, Jordan Arard Coupe, John Norris, John Gorzinski, Michael McIntyre, Rebecca Solzbach, Gabby Connolly, Jacob Uskalowski, Jacob Culp, Dean Powers. Rowan Funhouse, Quarantine Special. Kevin Zippe, Alex Keilman, Amir Lewis, Andrew Bichetto, Sam Wallen, Melissa Luna, Jacob Perez, Lindsay Tobias, Andrew Tyson. Support Local Everything. Shauna Barry, Elijah Mitchell, Julia Falpel, Jenna Gooch, Dina Fulgia, Joseph Skelza, Valerie Monzo, Jack Stober, Jada Ali. And as you can tell, it takes a lot of people to make television. But the award for excellence in television goes to Prof's Huddle, Season 1, Episode 2. Now, I'm not going to read off all of those names all over again, but I will show you a little bit of that clip. Stand by red, track red full, and roll red. Senior Jerry Price scored a career-high 28 points, and Austin Carney dropped 18 with four threes. And high drama at Esby last Friday as the women's basketball team took on the Montclair State Redhawks for the NJAC title and a shot at the NCAA tournament. Two minutes into the game, Kennedy Brown drives to the basket and finishes strong with the right hand to give Rowan the early lead. Later in the quarter, the swarming Profs D traps Montclair guard Karis McClellan in the corner as Nicole Mallard comes up with a steal and easy two inside. Mid-second quarter, with the Profs trailing by 11, Ayana Johnson pulls out this ridiculous spin move to cut the Montclair lead to nine. Roan would trail by as many as 12 in the third quarter, but entered the fourth quarter tied at 48 apiece as the Profs outscored their Red Hawks 16-6 the rest of the way to become NJAC champions, punching their ticket into the NCAA tournament. As the final seconds ran off, the celebration began as these girls move on and keep making history. Looking ahead for the women's team, they cemented their spot in the NCAA Division III tournament with a win over Montclair. 
The Profs will take on 24-3 Merchant Marine Academy on March 6th in the first round of the tournament. Hi, I'm Sean O'Leary, the Film Production Coordinator for the RTF Department. You know, when our students leave us, they enter the workforce and begin producing media for companies large and small all over the country. I'm also pleased to see that they remain creatively active on their own. The nominees for Best Alumni Media are Back in 10, Adam Bradshaw, Jack Swiker, Jake Chusid, Edward Bauman, Tommy Oceanic. Nebula 7, James Dowd. Portrait of an Old Truck, Adam Clark. The award for Best Alumni Media goes to Back in 10, Adam Bradshaw, Jack Swiker, Jake Chusid, Edward Bauman, Tommy Oceanic. Congratulations. Let's take a look at a clip from the film. I know I stepped on your lines a little bit too, but the critic was out there and it's I just got just... fine. It's fine. Hey, listen. Just remember what we talked about in rehearsal, man. You know, if you need to. Yeah, just lean on me. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Jacket. Jacket, jacket. Oh, I got you. Oh, my God. I trade you. Thank you. <laughs> you and your tea, man. Oh, chamomile and lemon. Just a little tip I picked up years ago. Helps me calm my nerves. Nerves? Dude, you never seem nervous out there. That's because it's working. <laughs> oh. oh, you got a lot of texts. I'm popping on Insta. You should see my DMs. <laughs> hey, 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 hold up. Documentary filmmakers take their cameras out into the world and help to explain the moment we live in. To introduce the high school documentary category, here is Professor Kim Akas. Hi there, my name's Kim Akas. I'm a professor of radio, television and film at Rowan University. And it's my pleasure to introduce the category of documentary for New Jersey high schools. The nominations are A Quaint Town in Burlington County by Gavin Schweiger, Cherokee High School, Baby Steps, Darren West, Shawnee High School, No One Said It Would Be Easy, Josiah Anger, Collingswood High School, Ripples in Time, A New Museum Comes to Cape May by Eleanor DeSantis, Stella Clark from Cape May. County Technical High School, and The Mayor by Charlie Falotico, Middleton High School South. Big drum roll. And the winner is, and we have a tie. The winners are tied. Baby Steps by Darren West from Shawnee High School and The Mayor by Charlie Falotico, Middleton High School South. Congratulations, and I hope you go on to make some really good documentaries for the future. We, we came to learn it was one of a series of quote-unquote red flags that shook the, the confidence that this plan was going to be fully executed, this adoption was going to fully occur. Um, Alice Catherine, I think, was three weeks early. And I get the call from the caseworker that says, Allie went into the hospital last night. You guys need to get over to Reddit. Red flag number two. She notified no 
one. Oh yeah, the that's evening right. she went into the hospital. She didn't tell anyone that she was delivering. So you go to Reading, get straight to the, to the hospital, and I mean immediately it was red flag number three. The the caseworker told us because we didn't get to go oh, right she's in. Not, she's not ready. For she's you. not ready to see she's you. Not, yeah, that's right. So we do finally get in a room, but when we were in the room. We were, um... Oh, we were treated as intruders. Yeah, and then we were told to leave. Um, and that Allie did not want us in the room. I first saw Dave play in a cafe, I think it was the Gaslight, many years ago. And like a lot of people, I was just blown away by him. Nobody had a voice like Dave Van Ronk. They called him Mr. Growley because of that wonderful, deep, throaty voice that he had. I'm happy to be with you. Happy to be with you. And they like, they froze. They froze and they turned their heads. They'd never heard anybody do anything like that before. You stab me with a pitchfork and I'll shoot you with my gun. Cry when you lose your money, learn to lose. I had the three big jobs. I was his driver, his opening act and his drinking companion, and that was a lot of work. So Dave had a gig in Venice in, in a, a deconsecrated church, and um, he was singing God Bless the Child, and I, I don't know where it came from, but he just, he stripped down the whole accompaniment, and it was very stark, and it was really, it, it was extremely moving, it was very dramatic, and I mean, he just sort of, stripped it to its essence and it just took the song to a whole different plane. Here once again to present the RTF short form documentary category is Professor Jonathan Olszewski. We have four excellent nominees in the short form documentary category. The nominees are A Very Paisley Thanksgiving by Eric Posey, COVID-19, A Father Taken Too Soon by Demetrius Tobar, Struggle Meals by Treasure Carey, Daniel Valentin, and Christian D. Francia. The Pirate Radio Experience by Anthony Messina, Jasmine Cabrera. And the winner of the Excellence in Short Form Documentary category is The Pirate Radio Experience by Anthony Messina and Jasmine Cabrera. Congratulations. Now let's look at the clip. And um, I decided that the only legal way to cover those areas was to put a radio station on a foreign registered ship in international territory, and that's what we did in the mid-1980s. But what are the consequences of broadcasting illegally in more detail? Well, a common misconception is that the FCC actively seeks out pirates. They don't. They only respond to calls and emails sent in from the general public or other legal broadcasters that they have heard a suspected illegal station on air. The FCC then sends out a field investigation team who tracks down the signal and sends the residents a notice of unauthorized operations, known as an NOUO. In the letter, the FCC gives out a warning, demanding the pirates cease operations or face potential fees and or jail time. Free radio is another nicer term for pirate radio. You know, we don't have a license and we are operating freely, just doing what we want. When we signed on air for the first time on July 17th, 2012, I already had that slogan in my mind. And that's what I started, you know, kind of seeing out to fruition. Hi, I'm Jason Penza, and the creative director, senior video editor, and owner of Glass Sound Productions. We're a small full service video production company based in South Jersey. We specialize in bringing high-level cinematics down to our clients at an affordable price. What makes us unique, though, is that we offer documentaries from shorts to features. My love of documentary stems from the documentary production class offered here at Rowan. I truly believe that my professors, along with the courses that I took, really set me up for success in the real world. Here are the nominations for the Glass Town Productions Award for Excellence in Documentary. 912, Up From the Ashes, Ben Lombardo. Biorexia, Victoria Todorova, Joni Moser, Frank Villarreal, City of Cicery Love, Marissa Armand D, Eric Posey, Austin Simmons, Gary Panzer, and James Malloy. The Mayor, Claire McKissick, Paisley Blair, Taylor Corson, Kyle Four, Anna Rose Rubright. 
And the winner is... City of Sisterly Love by Marissa Romani, Eric Posey, Austin Simmons, Gary Panzer, and James Molloy. Now, here's a clip from the film. My reputation is the most important thing that I have. I mean, that's what makes people want to work with me. There's always going to be more people coming and there's gonna be less and less opportunities. So you better be nice, you better be professional, you better be friendly. The ones that are shitty will, will, will fall off because they're not gonna get booked. This is the biggest room in the neighborhood. Yeah, you can do the bare minimum. And you, you know what? We'll all clap for the bare minimum. There are eyes here who want to book you and want to work with you and want to see you again. It's up to you what you do with that. I can say that when I first started doing drag, there weren't as many <laughs> drag queens out there. There, When I moved to Philly, there was maybe two weekly drag shows and you would probably see the same 10 to 15 girls at all of them. Hi, my name is Nina Isaacson. I'm a filmmaker and a visual artist based in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'm also a lecturer here at Rowan University in the Department of Radio, TV, and Film. I teach Foundations of Media Production, Film Production One, and Film Production Two. I started making films when I was in high school, and it's great to see that so many students in New Jersey are continuing that tradition by creating terrific film and media work as high school students. This year's RTF Media Fest had a wonderful variety of submissions from high school students across the state of New Jersey. The nominees are Hugger Muggery, Nathan Spano, Dalran High School. I Miss, Gavin Schweiger, Cherokee High School. In Person, Victoria Nowak, Bayonne High School. Package for Riverview Avenue, Ian Garone, Egg Harbor Township High School. The Lighthouse Italian Ice, Tyrone Shields, Joe Guzzoni, Thomas Hernandez, Middletown High School South. The White Wood, Sophie Jackson, Middletown High School South. Unforgettable, Marco A.J. DeBellis, East Brunswick High School. And the winner is... For Excellence in High School Narrative Film, Package for Riverview Avenue by Ian Garone from Egg Harbor Township High School. Now, please enjoy this short clip from the film. It's crazy how it's tomorrow. Tomorrow is a scary thing. You don't know what could change in 24 hours. One day, you'd be enjoying life with your fiance, but the next thing you know, you're sleeping on the sofa. I worked for Seaside Delivery Services, where my job was basically just a cycle. Fill the car, deliver, repeat. A modest job for a modest person. But I didn't want to be modest anymore. I wanted a better life, where every day would be interesting. I felt like that's what I deserved. deliver, right? Yeah, man, but my shift just ended. Let's just talk about this for a minute, right? I got a tight schedule tonight. I gotta go home. What if I throw in money? As in dollars? As in a quarter million. Trust me, I, I know some, like, he... What are you looking at? You decide, please. please. What? Please, no, please. no. A single package to be delivered just like the hundreds of others I go through every day. I thought to myself, how hard could that be? And we've made it to the final award of the evening, the RTF narrative film. Here are the nominees. Iridescence by Gabrielle Conley. Lost and Found by Riel Daquino. Made in America by Edgar Aquino Herta and Sliding Glass by Billy Oberman. And the winner for excellence in narrative film for an RTF student production goes to Made in America, Edgar Aquino Herta. And now, here's a clip from the short film. Eso, eso es mi pizza por lo que yo tengo con ustedes, eh? Que tranquilo que nada, wey. 
Luego se cree más que uno solo porque tiene ese pinche porquería de DACA, güey. Él ni le vale verga cómo es sufrir, güey. Mira, güey, yo tengo un permiso de trabajo que se expira cada año. Al momento que esa madre se expire, yo no soy ni mejor ni peor que ya, tú, güey. Somos cállate, la misma wey, mierda. Si ¿Sí ves lo que dice ahí, Made in America. Cualquier cosa que diga Made in America es muy valiosa en México. Así como tú y el resto de los Dreamers. Ustedes fueron hechos en Estados Unidos. Y cuando llegue el momento oportuno que vayan a sus países, serán una herramienta muy valiosa. Así que nunca dejes que con gente como Iván te hagan menos. Ponte pilas, güey. On behalf of the Radio, Television, and Film Department at Rowan University, we would like to thank you for joining us this evening. We would like to congratulate all our winners, and goodbye.